Hi, I'm John Shook, and this is the semi-final video for my entry in the Hecaday Prize Contest. My entry is a remote indicating water consumption meter. In essence, I'm going to put a sensor by the water meter that's down in this hole, wirelessly transmit a pulse for every revolution of the meter into the house where another device will receive the signal and display the real-time water consumption by the residents. Um, I've only got five minutes to go through this, so let's get moving. So this box, which is mounted relatively close to the water meter, contains the rechargeable battery pack, which is charged by this photovoltaic panel, which is positionable. Uh, there's a little shade now, but in other parts of the day, there's plenty of sun here. Also in this box is the wireless transmitter that sends the water meter data back into the house. This is the antenna for the transmitter. This is the actual sensor module that goes down next to the water meter to pick up the magnetic fields from the rotating magnet to uh, determine water flow. I removed it from a watertight box um, so you can see it here. If we position this back down next to the water meter where it goes, if you look closely in the video, you should be able to see that red LED flashing as the meter's turning. As it turns out, each flash of that LED is just a little over two ounces of water going through the meter. The receiver and display system in the house is still on breadboards because I haven't received the printed circuit board yet that will consolidate all of this into a single unit. On the left end, this long narrow board is the receiver module that gets the data from the transmitter located out at the water meter. This yellow wire is currently acting as the antenna. On the right end is a 20-pin PIC microprocessor which drives the entire system. It drives this LCD display which presents the user information. User setups could be very easy. Basically, you just have to tell it the time and date and it'll run from there. It also drives my water wheel display. My thought for the water wheel display is that as the unit is sitting on a counter or a desk inside the house, no one's going to notice the numbers incrementing here, but they will notice this large circle of LEDs spinning and the rate is relative to how fast water is being used. The processor also takes the pulses from the water meter and sends them out through this electric imp Wi-Fi module, which packets them into how many water meter pulses happen in a minute and sends that out to the Electric Imp website. The Electric Imp website sends the information off to another website called UbiDots, which is a data concentrator, and that site will allow you to present the data real-time on any electronic device in charts or graphs or how whatever representation makes the most sense. The UbiDots website can also allow you to set event thresholds. Say you decide that you never want to use more than a thousand gallons of water in a day. If you exceed that, the UbiDots website can send you a text or an email or any kind of electronic message you like, giving you a warning that you've exceeded your own limit for how much water you want to use in a day. It could also be set up to send you how much a daily message, how much water you've used today or how much this week or how much this month. So as it stands now, I've accomplished all the design goals I set forth when I entered the contest. We're reading real-time water consumption, transmitting it wirelessly into the house and presenting the number to the user, and we are accumulating the data, sending it out into the internet where either regular notices or alarm conditions can be sent to the end user electronically through whatever mode they want. There are a few things I want to enhance in the next couple of weeks. I want this LED water wheel display to go faster when you're using a lot more water. Right now, the LEDs advance once for every tick of the water meter outside. I'm also going to add some additional information on the LCD display to show water consumption to date and to month and maybe even a flow rate. Um, but that's just some software tweaks I've got to fix. So basically, it all works. I'm releasing this as public domain. That's the schematics, the software, the pictures, the illustrations, the drawings, everything is wide open and free. I've got no licensing whatsoever. Um, I'm very pleased with how it's turned out and I'm looking very forward to receiving the printed circuit board so I can get this all cleaned up and the materials to build the final case that's going to sit on my counter out in the kitchen and we're actually going to put this thing to use. I hope you've enjoyed watching my project. I hope you're impressed as much as I am. And thank you very much for watching.